you won't get these drinks out here I got money so they put it in the bag I'm pulling off all the tags and pulling off in the jag Fuck being broke, it's broke, niggas is mad Get a job with your broke ass and get it out the hoes ass I go fast when I'm riding through the city lights I'm from the Bay West Coast with your city like New nights, fresh jeans and a snapback Hey tribe, welcome back to my channel. I'm a vibe, you a vibe, we should vibe. So you should what? You should like, comment, share, and subscribe. But only if you want to, only if you want to, only if you want to, only if you want to. If you're watching, that's really all I appreciate. Everything else is extra. And if you do, so I greatly appreciate it. If you want that extra juicy tea, go ahead and click the link down in my description below to join my membership. I know I said a new video will be up. I promise y'all the video is going to be up. So much has been going on. Bear with me. It's... It should be up. By the time y'all see this, the membership video should be up. So, yeah. All right, y'all. Let's jump right back into where we left off. So, like I was saying, I'm in a deep sleep, y'all. Like, I'm sleeping so good. But something is telling me, like, Shayla, you need to wake up ASAP. Like, right now. And I'm trying to fight it because I'm having, like, one of the best sleeps of my life. My body tired. My brain tired. I'm just tired i'm exhausted i'm drained i'm cried out i'm mad out i'm angered out i'm just everything like i just want to have some peace and quiet and sleep like i just want to sleep for hours and hours and hours and rejuvenate and then wake up i don't want to wake up right now but something is telling me shayla you need to wake up right this moment right freaking now wake up y'all so finally i'm like okay let me wake up now, it's so funny, y'all, because usually, and I know this is a bad habit, usually when I wake up, I check my phone. I check to see if I got, like, any missed calls, any text messages from, like, anybody important or, you know, just something like that. But this particular day when I woke up, I woke up and I went to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom. I tinkled, washed my hands. I'm looking in the mirror. I'm looking at my face, just seeing like how cried out I am. My bags is extra baggy. My face just looks so, you know, I'm I'm looking at my body. I'm seeing all kind of bruises and scars from the the incident me and him had, the whole rumble and tumble. So, yeah. Hold on. So, I'm like, okay, let me check my phone. Y'all, when I check my phone, when I grab my phone to turn on my phone, you know how if somebody's trying to get into your phone from another device, you start getting all these notifications? Apple starts sending you notifications. Do you recognize this uh, location? Do you recognize this phone? Somebody's trying to get in your phone. Somebody's in your phone. Somebody's in your phone from this location. So I'm clicking on my phone and I'm getting all these notifications and I'm like, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, what is going on? Now, if y'all don't know, at that particular time, I was fairly, I wouldn't say fairly new to iPhone, but I had only had an iPhone for like maybe at that time, like a year or two. I didn't know like all the features and all that, you know, Apple do. So this was my first time like seeing something like that. So I'm like, wait hold on what's going on like like I, i'm confused somebody's hacking my phone somebody's logging into my iCloud and i'm like it didn't register to me at first i'm just like okay like maybe it's trying to like log into my i my ipad or something or my apple watch because at the time i had an apple watch i'm like okay maybe you know, something like reset or there was like an update and it's trying to like, you know, log back in. So y'all, oh my God. So I'm going through my phone and I'm just noticing stuff's different. I don't know what told me y'all, but something told me to go check my bank account. Y'all, $100, $200, $300 gone from my bank account. Money was being sent to Cray Cray's cash app. Y'all. And at first, y'all, I'm like just waking up and I just had this brutal day the day before. I'm not even registering when I'm looking at these charges on my card because I'm just like, how could I have just been spending money? I was just asleep. I ain't sent nobody no money. So then I'm looking at it. I'm like, 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 hold on. Like, y'all, Cray Cray 
hacked into my phone and was sending himself money so when it finally registered to me y'all at this particular time he was trying to change my iCloud password and y'all he had got all into like my photos he had got all into like my Instagram so he knew about delusional but he didn't know what delusional looked like he didn't know who he was so y'all he didn't got into my phone he didn't uh found what delusional looked like found delusional's phone number found delusional's instagram found my baby daddy's number found his instagram y'all just going through all kind of all my stuff he was just all in all of my stuff in my iCloud so I am in my Apple settings and I'm like trying to change my password and he's trying to change my password. So like Apple was telling me like somebody's in your phone trying to change your password. Is this you? And I'm clicking like no, but he's still trying to do it. And at the same time, I'm trying to change it in my phone. And at this point, Apple's like, look, bitch, we're about to lock your phone. It's too much going on. Like you're saying you don't know this other device, but this device keeps trying to log into your phone. You're trying to change your iCloud password. Uh, too much activity is going on. Oh, did some hair get in my uh, eye? So I'm just like, oh my freaking God. Like y'all, I am panicking because y'all at this point, he didn't stole like, what, 100, two, two, three, like 400 to $500 out of my goddamn bank account, sending himself cash app, sending him money from Chime, from my Chime to his Chime. Sorry, y'all, I think, oh my God, y'all, I've been fine up until I just started recording. So yeah, at this point, it's like four or $500 missing from my goddamn bank account. And it's his cash app and chime tag or whatever. So I'm like panicking. I'm mad. I'm upset. So my job at this particular time, I'm in my living room. I'm on my couch because like I said, Dylan, I went to sleep in my room. So he in my room, in my bed, sleeping comfy. I didn't want to wake him up because I'm panicky. I'm just like, oh my God, like I cannot believe he just hacked my phone. And now he's going through all my stuff, sending himself money, trying to change my iCloud password trying to lock me out of my own iCloud out of my own goddamn phone so I'm just going through all the steps to like change my iCloud password so it's just taking me a minute y'all because it's my first time I think having to change my iCloud since um I had got Apple and I'm like new to it so I'm just like figuring all this kind of stuff out so finally I get my goddamn password changed because I told Cray Cray so I had told Cray Cray my iCloud password without even knowing I told him my password. Now y'all, I use the same password for a lot of things. Now I didn't switch it up, but I had told him um, this particular password. I don't know why, and I told him that I'll be using the same password. Y'all, so I remember why I had told Cray Cray uh, my password. So this is gonna be a whole nother story time, but cray cray convinced me to let him do some stuff in my name and he had opened remember when i was telling y'all he was sending himself money from time so i had gave him my time password because he was doing some stuff which is gonna be a later story time and when i had told him that password i basically was like i use the same password for everything you know just not thinking too much of it just like talking running my damn mouth that's why sometimes i need to shut up so you know i'm not thinking nothing of it because i'm like this my boo i trust him you know what i mean so i didn't think too much of it at that time now i know better don't tell nobody nothing okay because later on they can use it against you for like everything so he must have remembered it and hacked it to my phone with that damn password so yeah, I finally got the password changed and I'm just like, oh my God, are you serious? So y'all, now I am calling Cray Cray, blowing him up. He's not answering the phone. I'm calling back to back to back. I'm calling private. I didn't downloaded the text now, whatever app. And I'm trying to call him from all kinds of numbers, text him from all kinds of numbers because I'm just like, bro, I know you didn't just hack into my phone, steal all kind of stuff. Like y'all, this particular incident is gonna come back up in a minute okay so i didn't even realize that cray cray had got so much stuff up out of my phone like he was all up and through like my instagram my facebook all just all kind of stuff all through my messages because when i was going through my messages on like facebook and instagram i had noticed certain hold on y'all 
so yeah so what i leave off so yeah i didn't even realize like at the time like how much stuff he got out of my phone so i'm blowing him up he's not answering i'm blowing him i'm calling him like back to 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 back so finally y'all he answered the phone he like what are you calling me for I'm like, are you serious right now? I know you're not asking me why I'm calling you right now. You know why I'm calling you right now. Were you trying to hack into my phone? And he was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, bro, it told me the location that you was log trying to log into. Well, you logged into my phone from Oakland, California. That's where you're at. He like, Shay, you know I moved. You know I don't live in Oakland no more. I moved to Manteca or whatever, wherever he moved. I'm like, bro, I know you in Oakland right now. I don't know nobody else in Oakland that's right now will be trying to hack my phone. What are you talking about? You y'all, even though he lived in Manteca, he wasn't really like staying there like that. He would only stay there sometimes, but 50-50. Most 50 50. Half the time he would still be in Oakland at his mama house, and half the time he would be at his house in Manteca. Like when he didn't want to drive all the way back to Manteca, he would just go to his mama house and stay there for a couple days until he was ready to take that drive all the way to Manteca. So I'm just like, I know when you left my house yesterday, you went to Oakland because you were so called going to go get all these people, blah, 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 blah. So I know you went to Oakland and I know you went to Oakland. It's saying like your location is pinging where your mama stay at. Like, what are you talking about? I'm like, bro. Bro, you stole money out of my bank account. Like, you need to send me that money back. I'm like, you out your goddamn mind. Y'all, he's like, I don't know what you're talking about, Shay. Why would I steal your money when I'm up thousands of dollars? I don't need a couple hundred dollars from you. I said I never even said the amount of money that was stolen. That's how I know you stole. I'm like, bro, cray cray, I don't care what you think of me or you think of the situation, but what you're doing is absolutely wrong. Why would you hack into my iCloud? going through all my stuff all my private stuff all my you know things that i probably don't want people to see all my messages and conversations that i'm having with people you're going through my stuff and then you're stealing money fuck the conversations bro you stealing money like you said you up thousands of dollars but you're stealing a couple hundred dollars out of my bank account like how lame is that like are you what is wrong like you're really over here trying to like make my life miserable because of what like help me understand because i pulled your car because i went through your phone i didn't steal money i could have i could have sent myself money i wouldn't do nothing like that i should have but i didn't i wouldn't you know what i mean so it's just like <sighs> You know what I mean? So y'all, he's denying it. So I'm sending him screenshots of it being his cash app that the money came from. Y'all go to my cash app and it's saying I sent money from me to him. Like, are you dumb? You, you own some right now? Like, help me understand. Like, I clearly see the transaction from me to you. And I didn't, ver I didn't, I did not send you money. I was sleeping. I just woke up. How could I have sent you a couple hundred dollars and I was sleeping? So, y'all, I am blowing my shit right now i am cussing cray cray out i'm calling him every name in the book and i'm telling him like bro you better send me my money right now send me my money back stop y'all i'm telling y'all even as i'm talking to him on the phone it's saying somebody tried to log into my iCloud and I'm telling him like, no, this is not me. I'm like, bro, you're trying to do it right now while I'm on the phone with you. Like, what is wrong with you? Like, why do you have this much time in your day to be messing with me like this where you're hacking in my phone and stealing a couple hundred dollars from me? Like, are you absolutely cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? Now, mind y'all, at this particular time, though, all that money I told y'all Cray Cray was giving me, all the little money I was getting from unemployment and stuff, I had that kind of money cash. Like, I only had like a couple hundred dollars in my bank account and the rest of the money I had, I had in cash. I won't say I was up as much as Cray Cray, but I had a couple couple bands in cash in my closet so you know I wasn't really tripping off the the 400 500 dollars but it's the principle like you're doing this you know this is gonna make me mad you know what you're doing and you're sitting over here denying it when I see that it's your cash app he's like I don't know what you're talking about that's not my cash app y'all I screenshot it and send it to him I'm like so this not you 
This not you? It's like, I don't know what's going on, but that's not me. I didn't do that. I didn't try to hack into your phone. Why would I send myself money again? Like, I'm up thousands of dollars. Cray Cray, you do things just because you want to get a reaction out of me. Of course, you don't need the couple hundred dollars. You did this on purpose. You're trying to get my attention. You wanted me to be blowing up your phone. You want me to keep giving you my time and energy and attention because you're addicted to drama. You're addicted to toxic. You like women going crazy over you. So you stir the pot so that you feel like women are going crazy and fighting over you. You like like that kind of stuff like it fuels you it makes you happy it gives you enjoyment and excitement and your dull boring ass life you know what I mean so we're going back and forth and I'm like cray cray if you don't send me my money back I'm gonna call the police he like what you gonna call the police so now you a police ass I knew you was a square ass you gonna call the fuck Please tell me and say what? What you gonna say, Shay? What you gonna say? I'm gonna say you stole my money and you stole a lot of other money. Like if it, it, like if you wanna take it to the this level, I know a lot about how you got them thousands of dollars. I know a lot. I know the whole scheme. I know the whole plan. And I know everybody you got involved in this. I know everybody name for name. Did you forget? When you was putting all this mastermind plan together with your cousins, I was on the phone. You, you, did you forget? Did you forget? I think you forgot that I was on the phone. Y'all, because literally, I'll be talking to Cray Cray on the phone and then he'd be like, oh, I got to call my cousins. We be putting the play together. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And then he would put me on the call with all of them and I would just be sitting on the phone listening to all them talk about all oh, how they going to scheme and scam and all of this stuff. So I'm just like, Cray Cray, <laughs> I know where you stay. I know where your mama stay. I don't know where everybody else stay, but I know the names. I know your name. I said, unless you want the police to come looking for you, I would advise you to send me my money back and stop playing with me. Stop trying to hack into my iCloud. Like, what are you trying to get in there? For what and for why? Like, why are you doing this? Why are you antagonizing me? Why are you stealing from me? Like, stealing from someone? You already took the stuff you got me for my birthday back. You tried to take the gifts you got my son back. Now you're stealing from me after you didn't wreck and ruin my whole life for the last two years and caused me so much pain and misery and anger. And now you're stealing money, hacking into my phone, going through my conversations with people. Really? That's what you doing? That's what you doing? Like, I know I'm that girl, but it ain't never been that serious, okay? Mind you, like I said, y'all, we wasn't even doing the freak nasty at this time, so I wasn't even putting it on him at like that at the time. So what is you going crazy over? Like, I get it, you know... I mean, I would be kind of mad too if I messed up something with somebody like me. You know what I mean? Like somebody who genuinely care about you, love you, got their own stuff going on, smart, beautiful, creative. It just just got the full package. I would be mad if I if I fumbled that too because I'm on, you know, stuff, you know substances so bad that I can't even have a real functioning relationship I don't even know what a talk what a healthy relationship is all I know is toxic angry crazy rah, rah 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 so when a good girl come into my life I don't even know how to appreciate it and then I lost her you lost you fumbled me you fumbled me when I get like I get it I get it okay okay all right I get why you going so cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs I, I might too I might too if I had the full package just everything and I lost it because I couldn't get it together I get it okay but at the same time no I don't you're doing too much like you're doing too much like to hack it to my phone and still stealing stealing look 
hey, if you want to steal from rich people or you want to steal from America, fine. You want to steal from the government? Okay, whatever. I don't have no dog in that fight. But when you're stealing from the average person for no reason, That says a lot about your character and the type of person you are. Do y'all know what Cray Cray proceeds to say? Finally, he was just like, okay, Shay, it was me, but I feel like you owe me. You owe me money. You owe me $2,000 for my pain and suffering. Huh? Do y'all know he started requesting $2,000 from me on Cash App? in Chime, in Zelle, like all three. He just kept over and over requesting $2,000 and I'm denying it. I'm just like, cray cray, what in your cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs ass mind makes you feel like I owe you $2,000 for your pain and suffering when you came and terrorized me at my house? You put a pew pew to me two times. You put your hands on me. You mentally, physically, emotionally drain me you think i owe you no you owe me money for pain and suffering are you kidding me you're lucky i don't call the police on you you just hacked into my phone and i got proof that you hacked into my phone you're a criminal like i said cray cray belongs in a straight jacket because when has it ever been that serious to go to that lint to like want to get back at somebody where you hacking into their phone and stealing money and then you already got the 500 you now you telling me you want a two thousand dollars for your pain and suffering i'm like cray cray send me my five hundred dollars send me my five hundred dollars right now or I'm calling 911 and I'm gonna tell them every little thing I know about you now mind you I know a lot of stuff about cray cray because you know one thing about it when people be on substances and drinking and all of that sometimes you know like they said you know being quiet sometimes it's not a bad thing just sitting back and letting somebody run their mouth for hours and just letting them vent and talk you can learn a lot of things about people you can hear and and learn deep dark secrets about people cray cray told me some stuff that he did where he laid somebody in the ground and he buried them with his people told me how when where did you forget did you forget you told me those type of things <laughs> I i'm confused like huh you trying to extort me for two thousand dollars oh because oh, that's the catch y'all this freaking maniac sends me a naked picture of me to my phone and was like if you don't send me two thousand dollars i'm gonna post you on the internet Do y'all know how furious I was? Like if Cray Cray was in my presence, I would have choked the life out of him. I would have took a belt and wrapped it around his and strangled them out of him. Are you, y'all, my heart dropped because I'm like, okay, mind you, I never sent Cray Cray any nudes. So I know he got this picture from going through my phone, which means Cray Cray must have been going through my phone for a good little minute before I woke up and caught him trying to be in my phone and I changed my iCloud. He got some good shit. OK, because that particular picture that he had was a picture from like a year or two ago when like I first met him because my I had dyed my hair red. My hair wasn't even red anymore. I think I had dyed my hair red like within like the first couple months to a year of me dating him and then that kind of just fell out and I dyed it back black or something 
So it's just like, I know for a fact you were digging through my iCloud, like my photos in my iCloud to find this picture. Y'all, he's like, yeah, I got more pictures of you get in my phone that I got from your iCloud. And I'm telling you right now, Shay, if you don't send me the $2,000, I'm finna post it. I already got it locked and loaded and ready to post on Instagram and Facebook. And I'm gonna tag all your friends and family in it and say all kind of this and this and this and that and blah, 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 blah. Then he started to say, yeah, I'll post the ad, da, 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 and have people thinking you were HOE. Send me the $2,000 now. I said, cray cray, send it, post it. I'm gonna call the police. Are, are you really trying to extort me? Really? Now, mind you, the picture he had was very much tea. You feel me? If it would've got out there, it would've got out there. Yeah, I would've been mad that it was out there, but you know, body always being tea. Face was tea. I was looking cute in the picture. You feel me? It was like a picture. I don't know. What was I doing? I think I was like in the bathtub or something. I was like taking pictures in the bathtub. I don't really know why, but I'm just like cray cray. I'm going to call 911 right now if you do not send me my 500 dollars back and delete the pictures i show damn phone i dare you to post it i double dog dare you to post it right now the police is going to be at your house your cousin's house your auntie's house your mama's house your sister's house everybody's house everybody's getting locked up the whole family going down try me cray cray because i've been being real nice to you but at this point i'm calling the police I don't care if you want to call me no police, square, snitch, whatever. You're trying to extort me after you already took $500 from me. Now you asking for another $2,000 or you're going to post my nudes. I think Cray Cray's mother and father dropped him on his head many times as a child because something's not right in his head. What is wrong with you? For one, you have thousands of dollars. What the hell do you need $2,000 from me? He's like, Shay, it's the principle. You put me to, through too much stuff. You was talking to other people. You gave me the STD. I'm like, bro, I did not get you the itchy birdie. Are you still stuck on that? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm like, you know what, Cray Cray? I'm going to get off the phone with you. You can have that little $500. You can have these dude pictures. If I see it on the internet, if I see it on the internet, best believe the police will be knocking at everybody's door. Everything about to be shut down. You and all your family can have a family reunion behind bars. And I hung up. Because Cray Cray is trying to keep me on this phone. I know he, what he's doing. He's trying to play this game. And he's, I'm not going to play these games with you no more. I'm not going to fall into your trap where we on the phone for hours going back and forth about something that, what are we going back and forth over? I don't, I don't care what you think I did to you or this or that. You're wrong for hacking into my phone, stealing money from me and, and getting my new pictures and trying to extort me. Are you? Sir, you're going to hell, like literally. You're going to hell because who does stuff like this besides psycho, maniac, narcissist, crazy people who want to manipulate people who never feel like they're wrong? So I get off the phone with him and I'm texting him. I'm like, like I said, if I see my pictures on the internet, I'm going to call the police. If I was you, I would just leave me alone. Like, I'm done. I'm over this situation. Like, you're doing too much. You're taking things too far. And I'm over it. Like, just leave me alone. I don't want to associate with you no more. I don't want to talk to you no more. So, y'all, like, an hour go by. And I'm calling my mom. And I'm telling her everything that's happening. And she's just like, yeah, Shayla, if he posts your pictures, you call the police. And you send the police to his house immediately. And if we ever catch him outside, if that police don't get him, we're going to roll up over there. And we're going to handle it ourselves. So I'm like, all right, cool. 
so y'all like another hour passed by cray cray is now texting my phone talking about you know what shay i thought about everything and i'm sorry it's just you make me do all these crazy things i'm just crazy in love with you i just love you so much and you keep hurting me you don't want to be with me so i feel like i gotta hurt you and do these things to you for you to love me and me to get your attention and i'm just like what i hurt you i treated you bad you're trying to get my attention by hurting me because you feel like i hurt you put him in a straight jacket please put him in a straight jacket because something's not right in his head i'm like so over it at this point i'm just like bro i feel like I'm never going to get rid of him. You're like a roach that just won't die. I'm stomping on you. I'm spraying you with raid. I'm literally crip walking on you. And you keep getting back up crawling. And I do not like roaches. I don't like you. I don't like what you're doing. I don't like how you're literally trying to make my life a living hell by the things that you're doing to me because of what what is the reason you think i gave you the itchy bernie okay and if i did i'm just not understanding everything you're doing it's not that serious what you had was curable unless you did not take care of it and cure it you just sitting up there letting it mess you know manifest into some other stuff but like i said y'all I pulled up my charts. I was going to get tested so goddamn frequently. It didn't even make no sense. And like I kept saying to y'all, like, let me just repeat it one more time because I don't think the people in the back heard. I don't think Cray Cray heard. I don't think we were not having, we was not doing the freak nasty for months. Literally, we did not do the freak nasty for months. How could I have gave you something? Make it make sense. I showed you my charts. My charts have been clean every every time I didn't win. So I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what I gave you besides love and affection and my heart. And you just crushed it and stomped on it and beat it up and threw it out. And now you're trying to tell me I did you wrong and that you're doing all these crazy things out of love because of what I did to you. Y'all, Craig Craig just could not take accountability. The only thing he was saying sorry for was for like hacking into my phone and like getting my nudes. But everything else, Craig Craig was basically saying he had a reason to do those type of things. First of all, they're stealing money from people like that's low really low especially when you're up thousands of dollars like that doesn't even make sense i couldn't even wrap my head around that but like i said cray cray was just trying to you know push my buttons he knew him stealing money from me was gonna make me mad you know because who wouldn't be mad that somebody stole money from them it doesn't matter how much the the amount is when you steal from somebody that's like one of the ultimate disrespectful things you can do that's like spitting on somebody when you're stealing from them especially somebody you know like your loved ones or your friends or your family and you steal from them that's low that's really low and it's really petty and you're trying to extort me and you're trying to guilt trip me into what like i told him i said Cray -cray, i don't give a i don't care about your sorries i don't want to hear it i just want you to leave me alone go about your life go deal with the replacement who look better than me doing better than me younger than me you like her so much go give her attention okay she probably calling you you answer the phone why are you bothering me okay go pull up on your ex and y'all go spread all your nasty cooties with each other just leave me alone like i'm like i'm out of the kindness of my heart i'm not calling the police on you and snitching on you and your whole family like are you not listening i know everything i know how you're getting the information you need to scam i know how you're you're stealing people's identity to scam and get money like i know everything i know everyone involved i know what every person on the chessboard is doing 
and you want to play with me this is how i know cray cray's brain wasn't functioning correctly because any sane person would not be antagonizing and trying to blackmail somebody that got information on them that can send them to jail <laughs> like what are you talking you're trying to blackmail me with my nudes when i could send you to jail literally i know where you put a body i know how you got all this money and so much more like i know you do substances i know you be selling substances on the side i know how you be scamming the doctor's offices and hospitals to begin all kind of stuff that you're going and distributing huh yeah something's wrong with your brain because literally i would not be messing with someone that got this much information on me that could literally put me in jail for years like that doesn't even make sense but anyways you guys so after a couple hours after the whole back and forth cray cray's calling me blowing up my phone telling me that he wants to talk in person that he feels like me and him need to have another discussion in person and he promised he's not gonna you know bring his pew pew and he's not gonna put his hands on me and all this kind of crazy stuff and i'm just texting him i'm like cray cray there's no way you're gonna get that i'm so sorry i'm so sorry to tell you but you would never get me in your presence again like are you absolutely crazy no that's not what we're doing i'm just like i just want you to leave me alone we just go our separate ways and it just is what it is like we don't need to keep having this back and forth with each other like i'm over it i'm tired you feel me you know what you know what i forgive you I forgive you and I'm gonna let this shit go I'm never gonna forget it but I forgive you because I cannot hold this on my heart anymore I cannot do this God has told me I have to forgive you and I have to let this go everything every I don't want the money I don't care you can if you're gonna post the pictures post the pictures like I said if you post the pictures I'm gonna call the police but other than that I don't care I just want to let this go I just want to be free of you just let it go please let it go so I'm telling him I'm like maybe we just need space and time I'm just trying to tell him anything for him to just kind of like leave me alone for the moment because I just wanted him to leave me alone like I just go away you know so I'm just like maybe we just need some time and space and that maybe in a couple weeks or something when things die down a little bit more maybe me and you can like you know have a conversation but for right now cray cray i don't want to have a conversation with you i can't even look at you you literally hacked into my phone took my nudes and you're threatening to post them on the internet you stole money from me you threatened me just all kind of stuff it's just like you want me to forgive you because you i don't know like one minute you hate me next minute you want us to be in love again and it's just like we're past that point it's just over it's just done i just want to be free of you huh so he's just kind of going back and forth with me just trying to get me to meet up with him in person and let's have a conversation because like i told him you'll never come back to my house for sure and so he's just like we can meet up somewhere in a public place and just talk about it and i'm just like you know what like i said maybe in a couple of days or a couple of weeks maybe we can do that because you know just right now i just I just want I just want to be to myself. I don't want to have to deal with you and your shenanigans and all the drama me and you have been going. I just want some peace for a couple days. Like, can you just give me some peace for a couple days? And then maybe in a couple days we can revisit this conversation and then maybe we can, you know, have a you know, we can meet up and in a public place, heavily public place and have a conversation. So he like, OK, OK, cool. You know, I, I, I think that's a good idea. You know, we just give each other a little space because things have been a little crazy. And, you know, you've been doing a lot of stuff to me. So I, I do think I need a break from you and just to clear my mind and, you know, pray and da 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 pray. Pray about what? Get them demons up out of you because I didn't do nothing to you. I reacted to you reacting to me you feel me so don't 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 you know he was trying to make it seem like he need to pray about me or some shit like what no you need to pray for forgiveness of what you did to me and how you treated me so y'all 
finally cray cray leave me alone so like i said this is april 28th me and him got into the russell and tussle april 27th now it's april 28th huh i don't hear from cray cray for like a couple days y'all i'm thinking finally oh my god maybe he did pray and the lord has set him free from this toxic shit that he's doing to me like okay i thought the devil had him under his control but maybe the lord got up in there and got into his brain and started telling him like look you need to leave my child alone you need to leave her alone sir go on about your life go on about your day that's what i'm thinking <laughs> y'all think it's over do y'all think it's over it's absolutely not over okay this next part y'all is literally okay y'all thought him hacking into my phone stealing my money okay and getting my nudes okay he takes what he got from my phone out of my phone to a whole nother level because i think cray cray thought in between those couple days i was gonna like reach out to him because y'all a lot of times when me and cray cray would get into it and stop talking i would be the one crying begging reaching out to him to let's talk it out let's work it out let's you know do the damn thing again he ain't heard from me from them three days, three, four days. Like I was done. Like I was over it. Like I, like I said, I cried it out and you know, I let go and I let God, I forgave you and I'm done. I'm over it. Like I'm not going to follow up with you. I don't care how you doing or none of that. I don't care for an update. Y'all it's, um, what is it? Okay. Cause it's 28, 29, 30. I think April got 30 days first, second, first, second. So it's like the first or second of May because I was about to go on a week long trip to Mexico with Miss Burgundy and her sister for her birthday. So it had to been like a couple days before I left. Or was this after the trip? Was this before or after the trip? I got to find out. But this was either before I went on the trip or after. Was this before or after? No, this was before. This was before. Because, no, yeah, when I came back, me and Delusional star dating. <laughs> Anyways. What the hell is in my eye, y'all? Okay, let me just wrap this up. So, I'm going to just give y'all a little preview into the next episode. So, basically, y'all, one day... Cray Cray was just like, okay, I need to fuck with her some more because I don't think I fuck with her enough. So y'all, like a couple days had passed, y'all. I don't remember what I was doing that day. All I know is I went to sleep, y'all, and I woke up to L blowing up my phone in the middle of the night, y'all. It's like, uh, I don't know, I think like, 1 2 a.m. in the morning l blowing up my phone back to back mind you at this particular time not need to mention y'all as i'm going through all this crazy stuff with cray cray for the last two years i'm going through shit with l as well like i said l disappeared i didn't know where he was for hella long for like a year so i'm going through that at the same time, I'm going through all this crazy stuff with Cray Cray. So the first year I was dealing with Cray Cray, I didn't know where L was. He was popping in and out. Then he disappeared for months. I'm going through all that. L repop back up. He got a whole nother baby mama. All that drama going on. Me and L just going back and forth because I have to drop Dylan off and pick him up. And they he not giving me gas and drama with his other baby mama. If y'all didn't watch the baby mama series, watch the baby mama series. So y'all know what was going on with me and Elle and his other baby mamas and all that. You feel me? So at the same time that I'm going through all this crazy stuff with Cray Cray, I'm going through all that baby mama drama and baby daddy drama with Elle and his other baby mama and all that. So at this particular time, like me and L wasn't talking. I don't know why me and him had got into it, but me and him wasn't talking at this time. So like, 
Dylan had a phone so if he needed to communicate with Dylan he would just call or text him unless it was something like important that me and him need to discuss then he would like call or text me but I for a long time I would have L blocked I think I had unblocked L at this particular time I don't know why but I just randomly would unblock him I don't know because I'm pretty sure I had him blocked before this but I randomly unblocked him L is blowing up my phone at 2 a.m y'all I need back to back to back to back to back calling to where like I woke up and I'm looking like what the hell why is L calling me y'all he's texting me sending me all kind of stuff and I'm like what the fuck is going on like I ain't talked to him in months and he's like calling and texting me talking hella shit but yeah i'ma tell y'all what happened in the next episode because it gets crazy it, i mean it's already crazy but it continues on with the craziness like i cannot believe what cray cray does next like are you kidding me like oh my god he's so unhinged like i can't like just telling this series out loud like at first y'all i'm like before i like put this i wrote this series out because i wrote this series out like you know i had to jot down a lot of stuff just so i don't forget anything when i was thinking about it at first i'm like oh it's not even that bad it's not even that crazy like it's not even all that when I started jotting this shit down and now me really telling it and like rethinking everything, this was literally crazy. Like this was like level 20 crazy. You know, nobody got offed, but it's still like I cannot believe a person went through these lengths to try to like bring me down and really like ruin, ruin my life and make me miserable and unhappy because this person could not manipulate me to be his favorite dummy really like you're mad because i'm not your favorite dummy anymore i didn't woke up and i didn't got smart and i didn't got the game and now you can't run your game on me i'm so sorry but that doesn't mean act crazy and then involve other people y'all cray cray needs to be dipped in holy water six times a day not even three now that i'm like he needs to be dipped in holy water he needs to be in a strip jacket and he needs to be in you know 50 month 50 because i don't think he's okay in the head i don't know y'all like it's crazy because cray cray didn't i mean he had childhood trauma but a lot of the stuff that he like crazy things that happened in his life was more so like teenager young adult that he put himself into he has a dad and his dad is married um so he had a really good upbringing with his dad you know very structured and all that now his mom on the other hand you know she was on and off you know substances and so when he moved with his mom that's when his life started getting a little crazy or whatever but he chose to move with his mom you know how it's like i don't want to listen to my dad so i'm gonna move in with my mama so i can do whatever i want type of situation that's kind of what it was so that's what was going on you know he wanted to go move with his mom so he can you know do whatever he want and then that's when like a lot of traumatizing things start happening to him in his life but you know he could literally just stay with his dad in a good can y'all see my little fat household and you know maybe he wouldn't have been so cuckoo for coke of us but yeah y'all uh we're gonna get into part seven and that's when l come in that's when delusional come in that's when another character come in and okay it's gonna be a side story on the other character because i gotta tell y'all this side story that jumps into the future present and then we gotta rewind it back so then it makes sense of why it's so crazy that this character was added in then and how this character is in my future it's just so crazy so that's why i'm thinking it might be 10 parts because now that i'm thinking about it that's like a whole story time because i have to add that in there because it's like it, it's like a full circle moment of this new character that's gonna come in in episode seven so we're gonna do episode seven i'm gonna tell y'all uh what happened with l and then i'm gonna give a backstory 
on this person and then we're gonna get into what happened at that time with the person and then what happened with delusional and just so much now okay you know what's funny y'all like all this cray cray stuff that happened like i said i was gonna go on a trip to mexico with miss burgundy now this trip was so lit y'all this trip was so lit y'all this trip was stupid lit like i'm telling y'all like i turned mexico up on that seven day trip y'all i was acting a fool like i was buck wild and like that trip was so fun and incredible i did so many things y'all i had a one night stand oh my god if y'all want that story time soon let me know like let y'all that trip was so crazy like oh my god y'all that trip was so crazy like that trip was so crazy so much stuff happened on that trip y'all and i y'all let me know if y'all want that story time um that mexico trip with miss burgundy where i had a a a, a one night stand let me know if y'all want that soon because oh my goodness Ah, that trip was so lit it was crazy that was a wow 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 trip y'all i thought i was gonna go to jail i thought i was done for y'all I, I i almost lost my life like two times like <sighs> yeah yeah but that story time even though it happened while all this crazy stuff was going on it's not gonna be a part of this series like i'm gonna do a whole outside story time on that it's some stuff that happens during this time as well that i'm gonna do outside story times on like it doesn't involve this craziness here so yeah but uh, y'all all right y'all oh i forgot to show y'all my nails oh look at my outfit i'm gonna post some pictures but it's like this cute dragon shirt if y'all was on my live that day i did my seven hour live y'all was like oh shayla that shirt will look so cute with a black skirt and baby i got the black skirt and i ate this look up look at the nails i mean the red don't match but it's still dragging i don't know if y'all can see it's like the chinese dragon thing I'm going to post some pictures and videos on the screen so y'all can see. But baby, y'all see my dragon ring? Baby, I eats. You see my dragon bracelets? Baby eats. Oh, <laughs> check out the earrings. The dragon earrings. You see me. You see how I be coming, y'all. I put these looks together. The dragon necklace. Come on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on <laughs> you know i had to do it like wait wait yes with the dragon baby you know i put these looks together you know i gotta eat down yeah and do y'all see my hair it's so okay i guess the camera was like girl you're talking too much but yeah y'all look at my hair oh y'all can't see it on the black chair but it's so long y'all i think about next year my hair should be touching my butt i need to like cut it a little bit i want to get one of them like cuts where like they cut like up i seen this girl who do it. I don't know how to describe it, but I know what it is. Like, they don't cut this way. They, like, cut, like, this way to, like, layer it to where they still cutting all the dead hair. But you still got your length and your fullness with the layers. Because, like, my hair is layered a little bit. But it's just going to give it more layers. But it's just so, like, oh, my God. I, like, dusted it a little bit. But I think I'm going to get it cut for real for real next year um i'm just gonna wear my hair straight a little bit for this month a little bit and then i'm about to um throw a wig in it throw a wig back in it for um 
October. I, I think I need, I'm gonna get like a straight black wig because I want to be Shigo for Halloween. So I need to get like a regular black wig. But um, yeah, so for October, November, December, I'm gonna have my hair in like either a wig or get it braided or twisted or something like that. And then, you know, my New Year's thing, I'm gonna straighten my hair. And then I think I'm gonna finally get my hair cut for real for real but y'all i haven't like really cut my hair for real for real that's why it's not as long as it could be i just be fairy dusting my ends here and there but my hair could be like much longer if i like actually give it a good cut but i think when i do my yearly like straighten even though like i usually don't straighten my hair this many times a year i think it's my second time straightening my hair this year i only usually do it once a year but like come on now you see me it looks so good like I was just so tired of the wigs and I did the curly and I was just like I just want to do something straight like and it looks so good y'all and yes I know stop touching your hair but guess what bitch it's my motherfucking hair and I'm not gonna stop touching my hair unless I feel like it period but y'all let me get up out of here okay let me go I've been just talking 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 and I need to go, okay, for real, like, like, girl. <laughs> it's just the worst, the worst, the worst, the worst. And y'all be asking me for hair routine. I already have one. Go check out my Get Ready With Me playlist. I think that's what it's called, like, Get Ready With Me playlist. I have how I wash, condition, detangle, blow dry flat iron and how i keep my hair and like how i tie my hair up i got i got it all there it's the same routine y'all i don't be doing new shit <laughs> i stick to my same little routine and see it works for me because i don't be washing my hair all the time i know some people when y'all wash your hair all the goddamn time you gotta switch it up because then your hair get used to it see i don't i don't wash my hair often i don't know if that's a good or bad thing i wash it when i feel like it like when it's super dirty but yeah y'all y'all see me you see the inches you see the inches uh, i was who calling me y'all can't see that but girl i'm gonna post a picture so y'all can see the inches but y'all i wanted to like reflect for a minute on everything and how I ended up here in this situation with Cray Cray. So y'all, when I broke up with my son's dad, it was a really crazy situation. Um, maybe after I'm done with this series, I might tell y'all how me and my baby daddy ended or something like that. But it was like a very traumatic ending. Let's just say that, you know, it was something that I will remember forever. And I'm pretty sure my son will remember forever. But you know, it is what it is um so after that y'all just imagine being like a 23 24 year old i think i was 24 25 and you've been in a relationship or you had been in and out of relationship since you was like what 12 13 years old and for the first time you're single as an adult for the first time i didn't properly heal i had started talking to my best friend toby and you know at first i just thought it was just gonna be like a friendly thing and then i start falling for him all over again knowing he had a girlfriend and it was just a lot of stuff going on and it was like at this particular time i did not know how to control my emotions i did not know how to emotionally handle being single and all this male attention and how to handle those type of things you know I wasn't prepared for that I didn't prepare myself to be single as an adult and you know how to emotionally handle that on top of trying to emotionally handle now I'm a single mom I don't have dad in the house that helps me yeah me and L relationship was terrible but you know for the most part L did a lot with our kid you know when i was working a lot of times he was there you know watching him and sometimes he would like cook and prep dinner and things like that i, I wasn't doing it all alone you know l wasn't all the best but you know what he would help with would help you know what i mean i didn't have to do everything all by myself so i'm i was just 
in a space where I was just so happy to finally be free of my son's dad but at the same time it was like it just felt everything just felt so new you know like it just everything just felt so brand new and it was just like oh my god oh my god I could do this I have the freedom to do this oh my gosh boys oh my gosh I never fully healed at that specific time from the relationship with my son's dad and then I had to stop talking to Toby because I was just like what I'm doing is wrong he has a girlfriend no matter how he try to say it or this or that or you know they ain't talking right now and she dealing with other people while he in jail and stuff I knew when he got out of jail he was gonna go be with his girlfriend like y'all still together and it, I just didn't feel right it was just wrong so that was kind of like another heartbreak because y'all me and Toby like I loved Toby so much like when I was younger like he was like my first like love like major crush where I was like obsessed with him you know since like second grade you know so us just rekindling as adults it was just like oh my gosh like I really thought I was gonna be with him when he got out and then reality started sinking in like girl are you dumb you know so just now going through that and just talking to a bunch of different guys and just things not working out and I'm just trying to figure out like do I want to be in a relationship do I not like why is like you know things was just in a weird space and then boom I met Cray Cray and Cray Cray sold me this dream at first that he was just this you know hard-working man just trying to get you know his own place and stack up his money and you know, he was into reading and books and just knowledge and you know it was just like oh my god this is so refreshing you know a guy who likes to read and he wants to like teach me things and we learn together and you know what I'm saying like it was just a great feeling I'm into stuff like that and then it turned into such a nightmare just like in a blink of an eye you guys it was just like one day me and Cray Cray was just so good and literally the next day Cray Cray was just like just started wreaking havoc in my life and it was just like nothing happened I didn't do anything to him just one day he woke up and I guess he said okay it's time to show my true colors today so you know I didn't know how to emotionally handle a man that was older than me who's been through more relationships and mastered manipulation I didn't know that L didn't manipulate me me and L our situation was like so different like he needed to get on his feet he needed to get a job he needed to stop being like a bum but L couldn't manipulate me to do anything L knew not to ask me nothing because <laughs> literally if I didn't want to do it it was gonna be a hell to the no 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 like he had to steal my car and steal money for me to get things out of me like hell no he he didn't run nothing over here but cray cray he kind of sucked me in and you know had me thinking I needed to be I needed to prove myself to him and I needed to be submissive to him for him to then you know open up and, and want to be with me and to be in a relationship with me and I needed to hold him down but y'all the way he was saying it in such this like beautiful way at first it just seems so right like okay you know I didn't do these type of things in my last relationship so maybe that's why I didn't work out and he would use that and you know sometimes they say you should not be telling people what you went through in your other relationships and this is a reason why sometimes you should probably wait it's not saying don't tell them but sometimes you should wait because I just told him everything be that happened between me and my son's dad and he would use that he'd be like see you acted like this in that relationship but if you act like this this is how you get a husband this is how you get a man keep a man and da 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 da, da. this is what wives do you act like this and you can get this and when I'm got my money right I'm gonna take care of you and if you act like this and be like this so you know he was saying it in a way to where it was like hmm that makes sense like you know I should be submissive even though you're not my boyfriend I should you know give you all these wifey benefits even though you're not my boyfriend because that's me proving myself to you for then you don't want to be with me and that's like cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs ladies yes treat a man good but don't be treating a man more than what he is to you do stop doing that 
okay that it was a hard one for me it took me a long time to figure that one out but cray cray helped me out with that okay you cannot treat a man like your husband and he's not your husband you cannot treat a man like he's your boyfriend and he's not your boyfriend treat people as they are in the title that they have in your life the title that they're telling you they are treat them as such if he's saying y'all just friends treat him like a friend stop treating him like your boyfriend because then why would he need to boy get in a relationship with you when he's already getting the benefits of you being you know what I'm saying like you're already giving him girlfriend benefits without him having to boyfriend girlfriend the situation why would he then decide he wants to get in a relationship with you when he can still go out and talk and deal with other people because you 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 treating him like a girlfriend when he ain't even committed to you he's out here still running the streets with Keisha Tina Tanya everybody else and you without having to put a title on nobody and he's just getting his way with things so you know cray cray really like manipulated me into making me feel like i needed to be total opposite of what i was when i went my when i was with my baby daddy i needed to be more soft i needed to be more calm i needed to listen i needed to do whatever he told me because he knew it was best because he was older and he had more experience and he know what a real woman is because he dealt with older women and that he can teach me how to be a grown woman and, and you know do this do that so you know not ever experiencing a real adult relationship and a real adult man because I don't consider you know L and me we we were teenagers until adults you know what I'm saying like and L was a I I never had it was in a situation like this with another adult man so you know he had that upper hand on me where he could you know sprinkle whatever into my brain and I would go for it and then when I started you know realizing that everything he's telling me is not you know it's not going the way he said it would go you know he got his ex he didn't say all of that you know all these itchy burning situation you know that wasn't included in all of that you know all this drama your ex stalking me and all this other extra stuff like this was not the dream you sold me in the beginning it's just like of course I want to be a soft submissive woman to a man but my man my own man I don't want to share I don't want to be doing all these things for a guy I'm sharing unless I agree to it but I didn't agree to that you know what I'm saying? Like you had me thinking like it was just me and you. And if I just prove to you that I could be this great woman that you want me to be mold me into your image that you were one day going to make me your girlfriend and then one day make me your wife and then take care of me and move me into a house and do all these spectacular things for me when knowing goddamn well, I know goddamn well, that was never going to happen. And if it was, it would have been miserable. It wouldn't have been happy because you're not happy and I can't make you happy. Only you can make you happy. You know, you know, it was like he drained my battery to fuel his battery. So, yeah, like it was just like I got into this situation with Cray Cray because, you know, I fell for him really hard, really fast. And I believe the things that he was telling me and I kept feeling like, you know, when he would tell me like, oh, you're not, you're not, y'all, he would literally tell me like, you're not doing enough for me. Like, you're not being the best woman for me and you could do better. And there's other women out here who can, who could do better. And you need to get your stuff together and treat me like this or that. Or, you know, I could go be with somebody else who will treat me like this. And, you know, that would make me feel like, oh, okay, I'm doing something wrong. It was just like, he always made me feel like, everything I was doing wasn't good enough or it was wrong and it was not right and I needed to you know listen to him more and and be more patient with him and just all kind of stuff y'all but that's how that's how like I was just so young dumb and gullible at the time because it was like a new experience and I wanted to I tried to make this such a happy, positive relationship between me and him. And it was just like, he's not a happy, positive person. So all this joy and light I brought around him, it just irritated his demons. And he didn't like that. 
obviously. So, you know, that's why when things kind of started going bad between me and Cray Cray, it made me so angry because it was just like, I literally changed myself for you. I literally, you know, got my, and I'll thank him for that. Like, I'll thank him for that. Like, he really, you know, helped me shake a lot of bad habits that I did have when I was with my son's dad, you know, because I was young and I didn't know any better. I did learn a lot of valuable lessons and, you know, really did a lot of self work at that time to become a better version of myself, to become a better woman. I can give him that. But at the same time, he still didn't even appreciate it when I did, you know, make all these changes and treat him this particular way. He wanted me to treat him. It still wasn't good enough. It still didn't make him happy. It still didn't make us work. It still didn't make him want to be my boyfriend. You know, it still didn't make him only want to talk to me. And it hurt so much that he started treating me like this and doing all this. And, you know, him putting a pew pew to my head and stuff like that. It's just like, wow, like I literally changed my whole self for you and this is the things that you do to me this is what I get in return you acting crazy psycho and it was just like I kept feeling like I could heal him my eldest brother you know he is you know on and off you know substances and so it's just like I felt like one thing about it my brother when he's in a good healthy relationship he's off the stuff Soon as he's like getting a breakup or he's in a toxic relationship with someone, that's when he's on substances the most. So I felt like, OK, since I know this about my brother, let me try to use what I know to try to fix Cray Cray. If I gave him so much love and joy that it would make him not want to do these substances. It would make him want to get right and get his mind right for then us to be together and him to treat me the way I deserve to be treated. And it's just like nothing I could do could have helped him. He didn't want to stop doing substances. He didn't want to change his life around. He just wanted a slave. He wanted me to be a, his favorite dummy. Really, that's what it was. You know, because if he truly loved me and cared about me, he would have either walked away from the situation or he would have got his stuff together. He would have at least tried. He wasn't even really trying. You feel me? It was just like every day things between me and him was getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. All right, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like the looks I be serving because y'all know I come with the looks in my video. Okay, I come with the looks and the matching nails with the outfits okay period i'm a vibe you a vibe we should vibe so you should what you should like comment share and subscribe but only if you want to 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 if you're watching that's really all i appreciate everything else is extra and if you do so I greatly appreciate it if you want the extra juicy tea go ahead and click that link down in my description below because that new membership video of when i had a threesome is should be posted up over there so get that juicy too this is